Jesus. Bitte weiß. Nein, ich bin mal gefahren. Okay, dann. Okay. Ähm, das ist ein ähm, Betriebsbekommnis. Effect. Okay, so they've got the infinite mirror, which is great. So they should see, they should see the viz shortly. They can't hear us. That's really stupid. Oh, sorry, I'll have to. Oh, people are saying the sound is working now. Okay. Yay! Great. Okay. They can hear me, but they can't hear. I wonder if they can hear you. Can you all hear me too? Okay, let's let's just give them a moment to see if they can hear you. Maybe you just talk so they can we can test it. Uh, can anyone hear me? Hopefully you can. <laughs> they can hear you. Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Yay! Yay! Great. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. In that case, why don't you start with this viz by John about women in the Olympics? Great. So I like how there's annotations on it that kind of um, give you more insight into the points. I think that's quite cool. Um, I think the text for those annotations might be a bit small. So maybe make them a bit bigger, I think, just so you can see them a bit better. Um, and I feel like maybe the, the, the coloring of it Uh, there's not enough contrast, so it's kind of difficult to read it. I don't know if, if you agree with that, Eva. Um, I find the colouring not too bad, but it's a bit much blue for me. And for mm. those saying about the, the screen cutoff, I will try and fix that. It's a bit impossible because the same screen that you're seeing is the screen where I need to edit it, but I can't see what I'm editing because I can only look at one thing at a time, um, except for the 30-second delay by which time I will see it on YouTube. So. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, yeah, so I think it's... Uh, I, the contrast is okay for me, or at least on my screen, but I struggle uh, a bit with all the blue. I don't know why it's all blue, especially because it's about Summer Olympics. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, the color doesn't really work for me so much there. Yeah, and um, I guess the dots are interesting. I just wonder if maybe a line chart would, would work as well, maybe, instead. Um, I think it's almost also, impossible to identify it as a scatter plot, right? Because we don't see any axes or grid line. Like it, let's, it, it actually made me think first. This is a map without a map, but it's a scatter plot. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even realize it was a scatter plot until you just know <laughs> until you just said so. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense now. Um, yeah. And there's a map on the um, right hand side, and I like how kind of that particular game is highlighted. I just wonder if the map needs to be there. Maybe we can remove that and just keep the text. Yeah, that's instead. a good idea. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm just being so bad. I'm fiddling here with the screen <laughs> to see if I can make it. Oh, that's too big. Um, I'm trying to make the screen go like properly. Okay, this has to be good enough. Here we go. Um, I know it's a bit trippy, but here we go. <laughs> Okay, um, sorry, I, I keep getting distracted by this. So, um, yeah, I agree, the map, I don't know if we'll need it, because is it important where Brazil is to talk about the Brazil Summer Olympics, I guess? Mm -hmm, yeah, but I think it's interesting to point out what's in the text. I do like that part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think maybe just maybe changing the background color so that's less blue, mm -hmm. maybe that would help. Yeah, yeah. Okay, after all of that, um, let, <laughs> us, let us continue. The next one is really interesting. I noticed this, um, I think Andy pointed this viz out to me earlier. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks quite cool. And I remember Andy commented saying it looks like um, they're filling up as yeah. you go down. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, oh, I hate when vizzes don't load. What's going on? Okay. I'm just... Okay, this tends to load very slowly. And sorry, people, for the technical challenges. I just 
<laughs> had to um, get rid of my second screen, so it was a bit difficult today. So the rise of women in the Olympics. And do you want to talk us through what uh, what you see here? I'm going to slowly scroll through the page. Yeah, so every kind of circle, like cluster of circles, is a different year. And in brackets, you can see that some of them are for summer, some of them for the Winter Olympics. And I'm guessing it's filled up based on the percentage of participation according to the tool tips mm -hmm. um i like the i really like how the kind of pinkish red stands out i, yeah. I quite like that contrast it looks pretty um i'm just wondering do you think it would be an idea to have summer and winter on two separate kind of views to separate it what do you think um yeah i find because i mean it's okay because they're never in the same year. So you kind of see how often there are Olympics. You know, it's kind of every every two years yeah. there's something happening. Um, but because the sports are so different, I don't think you can compare summer and winter. Like you're not going to have someone who does track and field and also skiing. At least I don't think so. So <laughs> I don't think we can have this like a linear progression. I think summer and winter are separate. I personally... Um, I'm, I'm making the comment now, I might change my mind. I will probably only look at summer because it's been around for longer. Um, there are more different, like more types of sports included. And I would probably focus only on one of them. Or like you suggest, have two different views. Maybe maybe the top is summer, the bottom is winter, or you have two different columns where you see the mm -hmm. progress. Um, and that way you can differentiate. You could maybe even do it with the colors as well. I really like that dark blue for this is the percentage of men essentially or the one that under yeah. women and you could have that you know really nice red for or, or pink for the summer and maybe it's you know an, a different shade or something for the winter I wouldn't make it blue because then people assume that's men but mm -hmm. or it could be white like something icy you know cold like snow yeah um but I really I really love how this fills up how you say and I really like that it's also, it's a hundred dots and then each dot is basically 1%. So it's much easier for our brains to wrap our heads around. It's much easier for us to wrap <laughs> our head around. Yeah, I guess the only thing is just adding maybe a line or two, just saying what the viz is about Yeah. at the top maybe. But yeah. I, re I really like this. It's very, very nice. Yeah. And I'm, so the title says The Rise of Women but visually, it's not really a rise. It's more of a growth or increase. Because mm -hmm. rise to me is something you could maybe depict with an area chart or a line chart. Um, so I would maybe have a think about that to see what could what word could you use that is more in line with the visual. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. I really uh, really like this viz. Now, okay, we're gonna move up to. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't really know how to pronounce your name. I don't want to do it wrong. It's um, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna try because I know I'm gonna be having this like super awkward moment of, of butchering it. Oh, this is really big. Let me let me bring this up. And somehow make it uh smaller. So, first comment I guess would be it's a bit big, um because mm -hmm. I need to go to fifty. I don't know if I can make it. If I make it bigger. Oh yeah. So if I make it sixty seven percent, it still doesn't quite fit. Um, the screen. Oh no, that was um, that was wrong. So I would suggest uh, making that a bit smaller. That this I know it's hard with the pictures, but um, it doesn't all fit on the screen. Even in, like you have to go down to half the size, and then you can't really read it. But what do you think about the inclusion of pictures in this verse? Yeah, I've never really seen that before. I, I think that's quite creative actually because mm -hmm. it's kind of showing a timeline but then I wonder if um it's too crowded but I really do like how it kind of shows the history over time yeah like a timeline I, I think that I don't think I've seen anyone else do that so it's very unique yeah and I have to say like I love horses I love horse riding so <laughs> the first picture I looked at was Lisa Lot Linsenhof from Germany I'd never heard of her and so I learned something new um and and I'm, hope, I'm, I'm hoping I'm right here. I think that horse riding is actually the only sport where women and men compete on a completely level playing field. Um, admittedly, you could say that, you know, the horse is like the true athlete. Hmm, not so much. I mean, you still need the rider for the horse to do the things, but 
they can compete because it's not so much about you know strength or how tall you are or something so uh yeah i i think i really like the inclusion of the pictures especially because most of them are from you know kind of well before i was born and it looks so old fashioned mm -hmm. but you see how early on there was some progress around it um, yeah i really like that too and um, I also really like how in the um, description, men and women are colored in the color of the area chart, which is always good. So, you know, which one's which um, just, yeah, I really like it. Just, I feel like it just needs to be a bit smaller and then, yeah. And I wonder if a vertical layout would work here. And I know vertical is always a bit tricky with a timeline, but that mm. way you could have the timeline in the center of the page going down and the pictures on the side, not really covering up the data. And it could look a bit more like an infographic. And um, as a suggestion to the author, but also everyone else, um, I find, because I'm not a designer, <laughs> not like you, uh, when, when I try to build something that looks some, somewhat like an infographic, I tend to go to Pinterest or Canva and I get a template there. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to work my way through this to make it look like a similar design in terms of, okay, these are the different elements I'm going to use. This is how I'm going to lay them out, but I will use my own colors and all that. So that could be helpful. Now, I like that she's included World War II because there were no games there. And I believe there's also <laughs> a gap for World War I, but that is not included. So maybe that's also something to add there as well. Yeah, but that's a really cool phase. I like it. Yeah. Okay, and then going up, next we have Trina Herdman. And for those who are watching uh, live, one thing I've tried this week is to actually um, look for people who maybe are doing their first Makeup Monday or participating in Viz Review for the first time or where I just haven't heard that name before just to get a few more uh, new people involved in this weekly feedback session. So there we go. And here we have, so this is the split up of Summer and Winter Olympics. And what do you think about, like, do you, does it work for you? Yeah, so Trina actually inspired my viz this week because of what she did last week. So I'm already a big fan of Trina's. Um, but yeah, I, I noticed first that um, the Winter Olympics area chart is lined up so that the years are both kind of level for both of the charts, which I like. So that was that was interesting to see that. And um, I like the bands as well. Uh, maybe make the numbers bolder so they stand out more. Mm -hmm. um, and I like how the colors are very simple, just like her other viz as well. Um, it's very clean looking, Yeah, I think. It is. And what I like is that you can see um, the number of women's event and women competitors. That's the bit that still kind of blows my mind a bit. I mean... They're not the same thing, obviously, but let's look at vin Winter Olympics. So 52%, like, does this mean that 52% of events were women's events? Mm. Is that how I meant to understand it? Because, I mean, I, I guess then you don't have that many people, like, you don't have an equal amount of people for each event, which is what means... Well, what can result in the woman's participation actually being lower than that 52%. So if we say we have 100 events and 52 of them are for women and 48 are for men, <clears throat> but the one for men can have a total of 1,000 competitors and the one for women only have a total of 500 competitors, then you know that still obviously means there's lower participants overall for, for women. But I found having just looked at the data today, I found those numbers still a bit difficult to understand. And I think it would be beneficial <coughs> to explain that because it might explain some of that gap. And I'm not 100% convinced whether we can compare the line with the area because that's essentially what we're doing in these visits, right? We're comparing mm -hmm. women participants out of the total, how many are women? And we're comparing the events, but I wouldn't compare those in the same chart personally. Mm, no, that makes sense. But overall, I think um, the actual kind of design and how she's done it, it looks quite good. I really like how it looks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. Then we have Tosin Opini, and he has, so he's got a lollipop chart, and I'm curious to see what this is. Um, because I added it to the collection, but I didn't open it yet. So um, so here we go. I'll make this a bit bigger. 
Women and Girls Empowerment Through Sport. Gender equality is number one priority at the Olympic Games in recent years. Is it? Yeah, I, I maybe. I, I mean, maybe. maybe it is, but I I don't know if that's if that's a claim that was supported by the article. Um, I can't confirm or deny. Yeah, I don't remember reading it, but um, like reading it in that that article, but um, yeah, I I can't confirm or deny that either. <laughs> mm, yeah. So okay, so let's look at the bands on the left hand side because we have twenty seven Olympics. A total of 5,000 events, but I mean, they're kind of the same events every year and then sometimes new ones come in. So, for example, if you say, um, you know, the, the 10,000 meter um, sprint or run or whatever they're called in the Olympics, that's not a new event every time. Like, that's just the 10,000 meters again and again and again. So I, I wouldn't add up the events. I would maybe say unique events, how many, but not the total mm -hmm. Um, same for women's events but then also the women there are some women who compete in four consecutive Olympics so there will be duplication in there but unless you have the names you can't tell so again I wouldn't use that number because you can't I mean it would be 40,580 women in total have complete, competed but some of them are the same women for you know multiple yeah. years so yeah, I'm sure that number is actually a bit lower. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, what do you think? So one thing I'm curious about, I've seen quite a few black backgrounds. You actually did one yourself. Um, and I have to admit, I, I didn't go in detail through your viz. I've just had a few other things on this week. But I've seen a lot of black backgrounds lately and I struggle with them personally. What do you think of this choice here in terms of design and colors? Yeah, so... Um, I like how the sidebar is like a lighter black and te uh, I think I tend to go for that color for the entire dashboard so it's not just like a completely black color. It just kind of makes it look a bit easier on the eyes and just it's just less dark. So yeah. I guess I'd make the whole thing that color on the left, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And then for the lollipop chart, I'm kind of tempted for it to be just a line chart or an area chart what do you think and then just kind of not having so many colors and just having one color i think yeah because the colors i mean at what point does it become green or, or this bluish green uh so you know there doesn't seem to be a very logical progression i mean i see that in the 20s it's kind of red orange yellow then the 30s are kind of greenish and the 40s are more mm. green but it should just be a single continuous color if you need a color at all. Um, I think the lollipop for me here makes it more complicated looking than it should be. Why not just use a bar chart? I know that's not necessarily the most popular opinion, but it's like, it, it would be a much simpler visual to just use a bar chart. Yeah, I do like how you can toggle though between the different mm -hmm. seasons. That's nice. Just, I think maybe if it was a line chart or an area chart, then it might be a bit easier to read it. Yeah. I guess. But the, the axis needs to be fixed because if I... So in summer, 45 is the highest point. In winter, 41 uh, is, and it's the same height. So that needs yeah. to be fixed, um, the, the vertical axis. Yeah. Okay. Um, and something that, you know, you do quite well, but people need to keep in mind is when you use a black, a black or a dark background, colors look different. So you need to have colors that really pop so it's easy to see them. Uh, so make sure to... Give it a critical eye for yourself. And here's another... Oh, this is really big. Um, here's another viz by Kevin. Oh, automatic sizing. Never do automatic sizing. <laughs> Make sure that this is a fixed size because now it fills up my screen, which is okay, but your, your elements will jump around and you won't know where they are. Kind of like this. I've got 50, 41, and 0%, and I don't know what they belong to because they just jump under the chart. And then I have a lot of space and I actually can't scroll now. So I'm going to go out of, oh, this is, this is, okay. I've gone out of full screen because I can't use it. So it seems to be a strange layout. We have women, men, 50, 41, zero. There's like, I think this, the numbers are in the wrong places. I think they're meant to be aligned to something. 
Yeah, so it looks a lot different on my screen. I think it just kind of moved around, like you said. Okay, I'm just <laughs> going to open the picture because... Um... Oh, hang on. So open image and a new tab because otherwise... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's much better. So check always check your things on Tableau Public because it messes things up sometimes. Um, okay, let me hear what you think. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... I quite like the color choices. They're quite different. Um, and like we were talking about with the dark background, I like how the color for women stands out mm -hmm. because that's the main focal point of the viz. Mm -hmm. um, um, for the top kind of area chart, do you think it would be good to also label 100% at the top of, of the Y axis? Probably, too? yeah. So that you can kind of say 100% of competitors or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so if we go down for the line charts, um, maybe just a bit more spacing in between summer and winter because when I first looked at it, I kind of got confused because I didn't see the Winter Olympic Games title, so just maybe spacing it out a little bit. Um, Where do you see? Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, um, I like the annotations, though. Um, and I also noticed that there's kind of a a waffle chart on the right hand side mm -hmm. um and at, when i first looked at this i was kind of confused as to what the text above that related to so maybe making the text above the waffle chart look like it's more part of the waffle chart does that make sense just because i kind of yeah yeah that, so confused. and the waffle chart looks a bit lost in space because there's so much room between the different squares um mm. so let me I want to go back to the lines for a minute. I would add some sort of axis. I mean, you have 1900 and 2020, but the numbers are really lost. And I have no idea what these lines are. So there should be an axis and some sort of labeling. I mean, there's the there's the annotations, but this is too simplistic. And I know we, we say, you know, get rid of chart junk, but don't get rid of so much that we don't understand it anymore. So because this is an image, I can't click on anything. The tablet version was like, useless for me to use and that's not necessarily your fault it could just be that things jump around but I can't hover over the data so I can't tell what is the number what's the line and all that so labeling that and having a bit of an axis going on so we can see what we're dealing with would be good and on the right yeah I agree with you having so it says since 1900 only one Olympic tournament out of 50 has held more events for women than men an additional one tournament has held an equal number of okay do we need the waffle chart to understand that information? Um, because it says one out of 50. So do we need 50 squares or could that information just be, I don't know, by itself? The text is fine. It doesn't always need to be a chart if the text is simple enough to understand. Yeah, maybe just having that text by itself would yeah. be enough. Yeah. Okay. All right, then next we have Ramad, and let's check out her viz. Okay, women in the Olympic movement. So um, this might be, okay, no, it's good. Um, so there's a bit of text at the beginning. We've got a nice, clean, white background. Um, then we can select the summer or the winter Olympics. And then we have this, like, kind of butterfly chart, but not butterfly chart, where things fill up from the right to the left. So that I find, oh, so it's a butterfly, yeah, it is a butterfly chart, but mm. Mm. I find the chart hard to understand. I like the Olympic history. Yeah, like a timeline. Yeah, I would maybe move the chart. What do you think about moving the chart into the middle of the history? So you've got some text on the left, some text on the right. Yeah, so it would look more like a timeline. Yeah, that would look good. I like that idea. And yeah, the corresponding years will actually be on either side of the yeah. um, chart. I think that could work. Now, again, we're comparing participants and events. I mean, in this case, it shows how over time there are not just more participants in the same events, but there's also women's, women's specific events, which is good. Um, but yeah. 
Um, I'm, I'm just not sure about comparing those. Like, I think, at least to me, it makes more sense to compare how many women and men were participating and how many events were for women. Like, comparing the, the events for the different sexes rather than participants and events. Yeah, so maybe two separate charts. So comparing yeah. women, yeah. participants, and yeah. Yeah, I think that would work with two different charts. And um, do you, maybe not having as much text at the beginning of the vis, because mm -hmm. I, f um, I like how there's some history in the first paragraph, but I feel like there's a lot of history in the timeline. So maybe we don't need that um, history in the first part of the vis. What do you think? I agree. Um, and the text just means a lot of people, once they have to read through text before they can actually do something or look at something or interact, they might switch off. So I think bringing the data first and maybe you can work that the, the history at the start more into the history below. Mm. Okay. Okay, and then we have Sonia, and where's the link? Okay, so um, another request, and you don't have to listen to me, but it's a request nonetheless, is fewer hashtags is better, or making them more at the end, because I struggle to find the link sometimes, because it's just hashtag after hashtag, and yeah, that's just not that easy to uh, see. Now here, oh, I like the green, I have to admit, because um, I think it's a nice neutral color. And yeah. Yeah, I like the green too. I just noticed something. Um, women is highlighted in green in the title. Mm -hmm. And then the two most recent bars in the bar chart are also green. Yeah. But then the entire charts are about women. Yeah. So could that be misleading? I think that's a bit confusing, yeah. So maybe it could all just be grey or all green or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, what do you think about the bars with the line on top? Yeah, I feel like maybe we don't actually need the line and just keep the bar or just keep the line, just one or the other, I think. What do you think? Um, I would probably make it an area instead. Because yeah. it looks like it wants to be an area chart, but because the the bars will always jut out on the sides of the lines, it just looks a bit messy. It looks like when I try to draw something and I can't, you know, I kind of draw outside the lines, it just looks a bit messy. So <laughs> um, I think it would look cleaner if you have the an area chart or just a bar chart or just a line chart, because the line doesn't add anything. Yeah, I do like how neat this is, though. Everything's kind of nicely aligned mm -hmm. um and in terms of that medal um i guess i i always find it very difficult to add images into visits um what, what do you think about the medal i i don't need the medal i think it's you know it kind of draws my eyes to the left side but it's distracting as well and i don't think it really adds anything um it's not i mean it has a gold medal but it's a star and I don't think Olympic medals look like this. Um, I think, I don't mind the rings, but if you look at it closely, all the icons have men in them. They're not female shapes. So if this is about women, then it should be something with women. And then I also don't quite understand the Serena Williams comment in the, or, or quote in there because overpower, overtake, overcome. Uh, I don't know if that's, I mean, I don't know where that quote comes from or like what context it was said in, but I don't think equality is about outdoing someone else. It's about just having the same access to the same things, right? Um, yeah, so maybe just having the text on the left-hand side. Yeah. Just just the text by itself and maybe um, centering the title just so it's in the center of the base yeah. as well. Yeah, and it should be like women in the Olympics should be uh, one title, not two separate bits, I would say. Yeah. Now, there is a question from um, from EK about using the Olympic rings. Um, I don't know what the copyright question is. I never use images or logos in my visas. And if I do end up using an image, it's only images that I have the rights to use. Um, sure, um, like, 
like Tom says, I don't think IOC will hunt for data viz lovers for that. No, but if somebody does, I don't know if you want to go up against them in a legal challenge. So <laughs> it's better to err on the side of caution, also because it shows that you have thought about it. Um, you know, no one likes people stealing stuff. So yeah, there we go. That's my, my take on that. Yeah. Um, okay. Then we have Matt and we have another dark background. So I'm going to let you start off and let me just try and make this a bit larger. Okay. What do you think of yep. this? So I haven't seen anyone do a, a curvy timeline for this data. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and I like how the, the background is kind of an off black <laughs> color like we were talking about before. Um, I think... For this kind of um, using a curvy timeline for this kind of data um, can be kind of difficult to read. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think um, because it's kind of showing over time, and we want to really see that change. Maybe a line chart or like an area chart, like we were talking about, would be a better fit. But I do think it looks cool, <laughs> and the colors used are cool. Um, and I've just hovered over. I like the tooltips as well. Mm -hmm. It's just some of the kind of labeling isn't really there because it doesn't really fit either. So, yeah, yeah maybe the chart choice. I Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced because it's the line gets thicker, the bubbles get larger, the text gets... Well, this text doesn't... It, the text does get larger, but also changes in color. The line changes in color. It's a lot going on. Um and I don't know, it's, it just, ha it just gives me a bunch of percentages, but it doesn't tell me what the year is. I think what would be more useful is to have the year in those circles or under them or in the line to show what year did we start? What year, like, where do we see a big change? Um, but with the line gradually getting thicker, I think it's very hard to see, oh, does it go from 5% to 10 or to 15? So it's a bit hard to interpret i also don't know why some of them are kind of like triangled corners and some are s straight and some are curved so there doesn't seem mm. to be consistency and it could just be the thickness of the line that does it yeah and for the years where there were no um, olympics because of the world wars it just says zero percent yeah and if and when you hover over it does kind of mention that but it kind of just looks like um there was just no one there like no, no participants or anything. So maybe that could be changed from 0% to something else. Just maybe just literally, I mean, I'm being a bit of a workaround person here, but just having a blank in black floating over it to create a break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, that would that, work. <laughs> that would be my solution, which is like, okay, make it as easy as possible for myself. Um, <laughs> yes. So I think it probably makes it a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Um, yeah, but I like that there's a story and I do like that there's a flow and that we see a difference from 1900 to, um, 2016. Yeah. I noticed they had what, um, kind of blank space around the edges. So there's breathing room. So that's nice too, because yeah. the chart's very centered. Definitely. Okay. Um, let's see who we have next on our list. Okay. So this is by Qin. I hope that's right. And um, it's like a, a sunburst slash, oh, radial bar chart. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. Empowering women at the Olympic Games. I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, so it looks like um, they kind of explored lots of different things. Mm -hmm. Um and that's kind of what I like to do too. I, I make like 10 charts for one data set and pick whichever ones I think are the best. But um, I just noticed that um, for the chart on the right, the um, it hasn't been formatted as percentage. It's just the decimal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the kind of radial chart, um, I, I, I think... They can look really pretty, but they're quite hard to to read. Um, I almost feel like because I think the one on the chart on the right is just for the women's events, and the radial is for participants. 
So how about just two bar charts instead? What do you think? Yeah, and I mean, the rounded bar charts, they, it's just, again, it makes it more difficult than it needs to be. Um, mm. And if I go, okay, so, so what does this stuff at the top show? It shows the number of sports for women. And this is now for Summer Olympics. If I go to Winter Olympics, okay, so there's different, okay, so that's fine. But, I mean, the radial bar chart takes up a lot of space that could be done with, like, a simple line chart would make this so much more concise. Um, mm -hmm. Also because I'm going back in time by going down the list or down the, down the page. You know, at the top I've got 2016, but then I go left and down to go to 1900, which is, to me, not very intuitive. Yeah, I think maybe just um, for the events and the participants having the same chart, but for both of those things, if that makes sense, to make it consistent, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I also noticed the text in the top right. Um, it's good to have it, but I think maybe spacing out a bit because it's just kind of clustered there. And it's very small. Yeah. At least it seems small to me. It's, yeah. Um, I think the 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 whole top section looks really squished together and then that radial chart takes up so much space where there's so much blank space that could be used so um i would rethink the layout of it okay and next we have dana okay so she has focused on the gender gap in ioc is decreasing I would explain what IOC stands for, because most people wouldn't know. Um, I think if you say International Olympic Committee, but it's not the gender gap in the committee. It's the gender gap in the Olympics, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, so just having maybe, a, a, kind of rephrasing that and having a line underneath to yeah. kind of explain that more. Yeah. Um, I do like the kind of legend or kind of little version of the barbell <laughs> at the top mm -hmm. to kind of explain what it is. And I really like how that gap is very visible. Yeah. Um, it looks very clean. Mm -hmm. uh, and the tool tips are nicely formatted too. And there's filter buttons so you can filter between winter and summer. So that's nice as well. I like what all, do you think? And, and the transitions are really nice um, between summer and winter. But I would label them summer and winter because to me, there's sun and the snowman. They're not necessarily summer and winter because nowhere does it actually mention the Olympics until, you know, you look at the title. But if it said, like, yeah, it shouldn't be the gender gap in IOC because that's an organization. And this is not about the organization. This is about the Olympics itself. So about the athletes. But I would mention summer Olympics, winter Olympics before, like in the filter um, or, or somewhere or even just mention summer and winter because to me, the icons because I didn't know it was about the Olympics unless, you know, I looked at the data. Um, I think that the icons are not self-explanatory. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But overall, I think it looks quite neat. Just maybe add some explanation, yeah. I suppose. Okay. And then we have Juan Chi. And here we have summer in yellow and winter in blue. I quite like that. Gender yeah. Equality. Very simple mm -hmm. and neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like this. I think it, I, I mean, it doesn't really need much more explanation because it has the percentages, it has the area chart, and it says percentage of women athletes competing. So, yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, I like how the kind of subtitle is coloured in so you know exactly what each one's referring to. I mean, I guess the only thing is I'm just hovering over, maybe just format the tooltips a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's yeah. very minor. Um, but I really like it. Um, I guess one thing is the y-axis should go to 50. Yeah. Yeah, that would be better because 50 should be, high, you know, that's parody. Yeah, and then maybe put a, a, um, a line. And one suggestion I want to make, you could even make this the subtitle just say percent of women athletes competing and then have a big word summer in the yellow area chart and a big word winter in the blue one because 
that mm. would make it even easier to understand because you don't have to go from the above to below. Like, it's just there. Yeah, that would look cool. Okay. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, it's very simple, but I really like it. Yeah, agreed. Um, and then we have Shannon. Does anyone know what this MM Data Tribe hashtag is? Because I've seen it, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe someone can enlighten enlighten us. Maybe someone's watching and knows. Um, okay, Olympics, the quest for equality gold. What's equality gold? I want to know. Yeah. That. But I do like how at the top, um, they they kind of made it as the years are on podiums. I think that's quite creative, but you oh. kind of have to look at it for a second to, to get it. I didn't that understand sense. that. <laughs> It's, it's it's creative. I maybe just um, needs a bit of explanation so that you can it, understand it. But it's a it's a clever way of showing that. I like that. It I think it's clever, but the the title threw me. Summer medals. I'm like, okay, forty five percent of people got a gold medal. Like that's uh, that's how I read it. So I wouldn't call it summer medals. I would say yeah. maybe maybe something like the most, you know. Um, most equal participation or, or something like that you know uh, most, yeah. or most equal games in summer most equal games in winter or something like that mm -hmm. um, okay so then we have the games and why okay so there was ah okay so 92 is when they're swapped to making it alternating years rather than the same years um, I think the butterfly chart when it's up and down is a bit difficult to read because it looks a bit like there's decrease rather yeah. than increase if you look at it that way. Yeah, maybe just two separate charts for summer and winter. Yeah, yeah. Or even two lines in the same chart with those colors. Yeah. Um, I like the call out of World War Two. I think all the banding is a bit much, like the grey banding is, is maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think it made sense when uh, the years were the same for the games, but mm -hmm. then when it changes, it might be a bit confusing. But yeah, yeah, I, th I think just making that into two different charts, or like you said, the same chart um, would be good. I like the list, the viz at the bottom. Um, I don't really care so much about the icon. It could be a circle. I don't really care. But I like that you can see when new sports were added and when women, I mean, sailing, I wouldn't have thought that sailing was one of the first where women got to compete. Um, but then, mm -hmm. you know, what, what new sports came in. The only thing I don't understand is why some of them are labeled and some of them are not. Yeah, I'm I mean, wondering that too. Maybe they just didn't fit or I'm not sure Cause, but cause, I really like this as well I'm really a fan of these timelines that we keep seeing <laughs> it's, it's interesting um yeah. and with um so 28 was the year women were able to compete in athletics and I would think athletics is like one of the top things that a lot of people watch and that is something I would probably label um but I like mm -hmm. I like the information it gives me I think that's really cool yeah I agree Okay, and then we have oh, going up um, Pradeep, Pradeep D. Let's see what she created. Olympics leading the way in gender equality. I don't know if they're leading the way. Um, because, <laughs> okay, so I think the title and the subtitle are con like they're, they're what do you say? They're contradicting because you say Olympics leading the way and then it says women competed for the first time in 1900. Although it took a century, we are heading to an almost gender equal engagement. So we're not at gender equality. It took more than a century. So why are they, why, why do you claim they're leading the way? That's, um, that doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. I think overall it's quite neat. So um, I think in terms of the background, um, it's quite, I'm just wondering if the colours of the area charts stand out enough Not on really. the background. I think a white background would, would look better. Yeah. Um, and I do like the description at the top, but maybe just rephrasing the title or changing it to make it kind of fit better. Um, I'm just playing around with the filter right now. 
And I've noticed sometimes the filter overlaps on the chart. So maybe the filter should just be moved up a bit. Slightly. Yeah. And the chart needs to be unstacked because it looks like we have less than 100% participation in total, which of course we don't. But the men are behind the women in the viz. So you need to unstack them so that... Sorry, not unstack them. What What is it? Dis, dis, um, what's the word? Uh, disaggregate? No. Let me see if I can... Oh, I can't... I can't why did you not make it downloadable? Anyway, in Tableau there's an option. Actually, I've got Tableau open. Oops. Okay, people, bear with me. So let's do that. So if we have... Oh, anyway, um, let's just let's just make it up with uh, with winter and summer, and let's make it an area and women's participation. Okay, so now we have them behind each other. It's called analysis stack marks. Oops, oh, it's not so good without a mouse. Um, actually, no, that's not what we want to do. Oops, what am I doing? Um, so you want to have them on top of each other. Uh, well, this is how they currently are. And you want to stack the marks so that you get to 100%, I guess. No, I want them on top of each other. That's what I want. Anyway, you, you get the idea. Um, I'm just getting down a rabbit hole at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, because basically what we want is the percentage, the total 100%. That should always be... Like, it should always be 100% of total. You just yep. see that the number of men or the percentage of men is shrinking compared to women. doesn't mean there are fewer men. It just means there are more events and there's also just a greater share of women participating. Yep. And I also just noticed maybe making it more clear which one is men, which one is women. I don't think it's maybe, maybe highlight it in the description. Yeah. Or even write it in the area because I think the areas are quite yep. large. Yeah, big. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got a few more minutes. Let's see if we can get a couple more business uh, reviewed. How many more do we have? One, two, three. Oh, we can. I think we can do this. Let's go to Bechor. Bechor. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Um, okay. So, women Olympians. <coughs> Okay, so I don't understand the top right. It says 45% women participants summer 2018, 41 winter 2016. Why is the winter going downhill? I mean, I see, I understand for skiing, you ski downhill and running, I don't know if you run uphill, um, but it makes it sound, it makes it look like to me that we're going downhill literally for, um, for women's participation, like it's decreasing, which it's not because the viz shows it's both increasing. Yeah, that makes sense. I do like the interesting way of putting the bands in, in that kind of pyramid shape, but I didn't really think of that. Um, that's a good point about it going down. Um, mm. it, it does kind of, it is a bit misleading, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um, other than that, so I like that with the circles, you can see the individual years, but it also means... I mean, we've got double encoding here because we have the circles going up, but they're also growing in size. Why not necessarily, like, why not? Why not just make it a line chart, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I do like how both of the world wars are highlighted with a gap. Yeah, yeah, it's really That's neat. Good. And I like that it's um, just a line rather than a shading because the shading can sometimes look a bit like in your face. Yeah, this is very neat mm -hmm. and subtle. Um, I completely agree with the line chart. I think it's interesting to try this out, but like you said, the double encoding. So I think just having a line chart. And I think those colors might be... Hmm, what do you think of the colors? If it's a line chart, do you think it should be a bit more subtle? Um, I think the colors compete a bit. They're quite close to each other. I think I have fairly good color vision. Like I can see it's green and turquoise, but for some people, they might be very similar. And yeah. we have women Olympians actually in yellow in the title. So I wonder if the colors could be a bit more distinct from one another. And I also think, yeah. so we've got these neat little World War One and Two lines. We have 50% on the left and the axis, but why not? And I think having like a really long reference line would be a bit, it wouldn't look so good. But maybe a small 
horizontal line again that indicates this is what we're aiming for, 50%. Yeah, yeah. Just a faint line just to kind of show that that's, yeah, I agree. That would look good. Yeah. Okay. And then we have henna. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we have, okay, yeah, this is a bit big. I'm just going to just make it smaller. Right. Um, so this is blue and white. I would probably swap the colors around, make it a white background with everything else being blue. Just it's mm. a bit much color. It's I find it a bit hard to see the lines. Um, they're like the it's a bit how do you call it? Like it flickers a bit with the with the vertical lines. I don't know how that looks for you. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, and also, I think just by looking at it, it's kind of difficult to see which end is um, men and which is um, the women. Yeah, you kind of have to look at the tool tips first. So um, maybe having them in different colors and making the dot for the women more um, kind of a blue, and then maybe the other one can be gray. Yeah, just so it stands out mm -hmm. on a white background. I'm gonna change that to winter. So yeah, I mean that all seems to work, but the axis isn't fixed, so the hundred percent seems to jump around when I oops when I change to winter. So I would make sure the axis is fixed to that and rotating the year labels so they're easier to read that should be easy enough to do yeah okay and maybe the divider lines mm -hmm. just to make it cleaner just um, turn them off yeah and so you mean those like those borders around the, the yeah lines? yeah yeah that's a good idea okay and we have one more by david Okay, David, uh, David Way, let me see. make that a bit larger. We need more women participants in the Olympics. I think women participants sounds a bit clunky. Um, maybe just I mean, women? Maybe just women or women participating. Because yeah. I think, you know, if it says women in the Olympics, it could be volunteers. I mean, yes, we do that as well. Um, but yeah. Um, dun -dun. When I first looked at it, I thought the black area would be men, but it's actually the events. Mm -hmm. um, when when I, I see that there's kind of a, a um, women events and women participants above that, but um, do you think the events should just be a line? Actually, no, we actually did talk about how they should be on two separate charts anyway. Yeah, I think, yeah, I just find in my, so in my brain, it doesn't make much sense to compare the events with the number of participants this way. Like you could have a ratio, you could say in this year you had so and so many women for, for every woman event, like on average, but I think comparing those two just doesn't make much sense. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to see like, I don't know, like for example, if you said in this country we have so and so many girl schools and the rest are co-ed, and then how many female students do we have? Like that's, it. it is not related like there will be so many female students because there are just so and so many girls born right but the the women or the girls will go to school in one of these schools like they i guess they are they are related but one doesn't really like i guess you just can't connect them in this way they move in the same direction but i wouldn't say there's a um this is something we can compare um <coughs> Yeah, especially because you th you then, like, you have some events exist only for women, some events only exist for men, some events exist for both, and then there are events where both compete in the same event, like the equestrian ones. So that's why I just think you couldn't really compare them in a single chart. chart. Yeah, that makes sense. And also maybe including a y-axis just so you can actually kind of have something to compare it to because you can only kind of hover over to look at the tooltips right now. Yeah. To, to see the values. And most people first look at the image and if they never interact, then they can't get that information. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are bang on six o'clock. I'm going to bring our faces back. Are you camera ready? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Well, I wanted to check before I do that. 
So uh, great participation, everyone. I did try to keep an eye on the chat a bit. There weren't really any questions that we haven't addressed. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed that data set. And it now transitions us to a new theme, which I will not share because, you know, Andy is responsible for the data. But the last four weeks were all about women's equality, women's rights. And we are moving on to a new topic or a new theme for the next few weeks. And um, I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. Uh, Priya, thanks for joining me again. I hope you had fun. I did. Thank you. And I'm excited for the topic. I, I don't know what the topic is either. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Um, I will work on actually creating my own biz and publishing that. <laughs> uh, I've just, yeah, it's just been a very busy week. But thankfully now with the rain coming down in London, um, I won't have much reason to go out. So um, I, should, I should get it done. Um, I'm going to get myself downstairs now, make dinner. Uh, say hi to the dog and Andy in that order <laughs> just kidding uh, see if there's any donuts left so uh, everyone else please have a wonderful rest of the week rest of the day uh, we look forward to seeing your visits and um, Priya's thanks also for the commenting on Twitter I appreciate that <laughs> and yeah I guess we'll see everyone next week see you soon okay 